all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. All right, folks, let's examine 11.2a. 11.2a just has us trying to figure out, okay, we've got these various measures and targets, but where should they be slotted in? Like which area? Remembering that our balance scorecard has four areas, organizational learning and growth, internal business processes, customer and financial. And we're trying to say, okay, well, which, what are we measuring here? Where does it fit? And it's just a good way to practice uh, and to understand those uh, balance scorecard perspectives. So the first one, product returns as a percentage of sales decreases by 5%. So that's a good goal, right? we want to decrease the amount of product returns. Well, what is that measuring? Is that measuring something in the organizational learning and growth, internal business processes, customer or financial? I think undoubtedly this item would either be internal business processes or customer, and I would definitely lean here towards customer. It's a measure of how happy the customers are with their stuff, right? If our customers are happy, they're not going to return as much. If they're not happy, they're going to return more stuff. So uh, that, for me, is a measure of customer. Employee satisfaction score. Whenever I think employee, I, I sometimes even call this organizational learning and growth, employee learning and growth. Think learning and growth. Whenever you think employee... E -E. think learning and growth. So this is learning and growth. Our employees are happier. It means they're staying with the company longer. They're learning and growing more with the company. This is employee or company organizational learning and growth. Percentage of products with defects below 1%. Well, this is a measure of internal business processes, right? The fewer defects, the better the products, the better the internal business processes. Over 90% of employees participate in new service training session. Okay, well, if we're training our employees, our employees are learning and growing. This is learning and growth. Share price grows by 5%. That sounds financial to me. Sales grow by 15%. That sounds financial to me too. Number of complaints reduced below 10 per week. Okay, complaining gets reduced. I guess I could have written in here the word customer complaints, and I think that would have helped. C, right? If our customers are complaining less, that's good. I guess, you know, theoretically, it could be organizational learning and growth if it was employee complaints. When I wrote it and when I read it now, I think customer, though, and in that case, it's customer. Setup time reduced by 20%. That is internal uh, efficiency for sure. So that's an internal business process improving. Okay, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for our next video.